desk. Okay, we'll do the little ring around the posy thing again. Eh? Back. Turn the landing light off. Bring it back over here. Battery's starting to get a little low. Let's see if I can try to do a little bit, a little bit more flying with it before it goes out completely. This part's kind of easy to do here. The <laughs> way I got the skids on there. Turn our landing light on before takeoff. Take off and hover around the little airfield here. Oops, battery went out. Alright, here we go again. <laughs> that battery didn't last too long. Okay, I decided to turn the landing light back off. Hopefully we get a little bit more battery life out of it. Every time you turn the switch off and back on, it'll uh, run for another minute and a half or so. There we go. Yep. It's about as long as it went. Okay, we still got a little juice left. Not much. Okay, hopefully one more short flight. landing. See that's big brother there. The Boeing Vertol 234. The real one. And this is the little replica RC. It's called the Air Hogs Twin Thunder. I don't know if you can see that. It says Twin Thunder on there. It's 
It's been modified slightly. As you can see, I cut some excess holes in it for cooling. It also makes it slightly lighter, not by much. In the uh, I got a little uh, vent on top there that I cut in right above the battery. It's been having trouble with uh, battery life. I think the uh, battery has a, a built-in uh, thermal switch that cuts it off whenever it gets too hot. So I figured some cooling vents might help. There's the on off switch. Lift it up to turn it off. Back down to turn it on. Still got a little bit of juice in it. I made the mistake of bringing it to a uh, Christmas party at my job about uh, eight or nine years ago and uh, I let a bunch of kids take command of it. I'd been flying it around a little bit and they brought their own little helicopters and apparently they like mine better and uh, they pretty much destroyed it. But I was able to get it going again. What happened uh, was it had lost a balance weight on this um, stabilizer bar on top. It had um, some uh, balance weights mounted on each side. I think there was three of them on each side. And... Uh, there was three remaining on one side, so I just took those three off, and that solved the out-of-balance condition that it was having. And the uh, both the front and the rear landing gear were broken. And I decided to use a, a piece of um, Dr. Scholl's insoles for a, for a nose gear. And I had a uh, spray straw from a WD-40 can that I used for the rear one. Kind of makes it look like it's set up for crop dusting or something. <laughs> but uh, it works. Works pretty good, actually. Get the rotors turned to fill. <laughs> it's a pretty cool little uh, RC that I bought it. It was brand new uh, when I bought it back in, I think, 2009 or 2010. You can see the little information thing on the bottom of it there. I don't know if you can read that or not. Probably not. But it was manufactured in 2009. And uh, you can see the battery right inside this access panel that I cut for cooling. It's a 3.7 volt, I think a 600 milliamp per hour battery. There's the other side of the battery in there. And you can see one of the crew members dressed in his green flight suit in there. Probably the flight engineer or the load master. Jumping around on his monkey harness. Let's see if it's got any more juice left in it. I'm sure it does. 
the little switch was uh, extremely hard to move. So I took some uh, deoxid and sprayed in there. It's got a little bit more juice. See if it'll lift off the ground. Yeah, just enough to pick it up and put it back down. Yeah, I thought I was going to uh, break that switch trying to turn it on and off when I first uh, decided to start messing with it again here uh, about a week or eight days ago and um, I put a, a drop or two of this deoxid in there and that lubricated the, uh, the little switch just enough to where I could turn it off and on pretty easy now I also put a drop down inside the uh, the mast on each rotor to lubricate the transmission. You can see the transmission gears inside that front window there. Emergency exit. So it's got the red border around there. Emergency exit. And um, see if we'll get off the ground again. Trying to fly and film at the same time. I'm really surprised that uh, I was able to get it working as good as it, as it is. Because, um, it, like I said, it had been sitting up for about uh, almost 10 years. And um, let's see what else, if it's got any more juice here. There we go. Ooh. We can do some more flying here. I've seen these on uh, YouTube from uh, back in 2009 when I got mine. Okay. Okay, we'll use up the rest of the battery here doing the ring around the posy. Erp. Too fast. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, one more time. Yep. Once again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to put you guys on the uh, selfie stick here. Hang tight. 